Hey, so I just wanted to record a video today about uh, the Macintosh application environment uh, for Solaris. So um, I have it extracted here. And basically to install it, you just run this installation shell script um, and go through it really quickly. And you can just go ahead and go with the easy install uh, and proceed with that. So inst installing it's super simple. I already have it installed here. Uh, you can see it's created uh, the system folder and everything in my home folder. Um, and we can go ahead and run it. Uh, so it actually does support sound, uh, but I'm just connected to a Solaris 9 zone. Uh, that I have running on a Blade 100 running Solaris 10 right now. Uh, so there's no sound, uh, but it does support sound. And so uh, we're booted into the system now, and you can see System Software 753 uh, MAE Enabler 3.0 Update 4. Um, so right off the bat, we have obviously the regular Macintosh desktop, then the home folder right here. Uh, with the system folder and everything and if I go ahead and make a new file uh, and open this again then you'll see that show up there and I can delete it from this side and it's been deleted uh, so yeah so here we are and it's also mounted opt uh, which, and it's installed into OptApple, so there's that. And there's the system, the base system folder it copies from, and the base Apple Extras folder it copies from. Uh, but uh, so basically, when you first install it, you're going to get a system folder and Apple Extras, and this contains Apple Script, Hybrid Card Player, Movie Player, Simple Text, and then some third party stuff. Um, the most notable things in the third party stuff are fetch and stuff at expander. It's only 4.0.1, so if you want to get things onto this, you might want to use JCS's restuff at uh, restuff.jcs.org, and uh, that will like repackage um, stuff at five uh, files into stuff at three compatible sits, uh, so that's pretty useful. Uh, TCP IP is working out of the box even on Solaris 9. So, for example, if I connect to the Macintosh Garden uh, FTP, it'll work perfectly. Yeah, there you can see it connected. And um, I can go ahead and get, grab a file. For example, and uh, that'll just work. So uh, you can ignore that stuff at error. It should actually be fine if I just extract it manually. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so the version of stuff, it's kind of ancient, which is sort of annoying. And I actually tried to install newer stuff at versions and uh, they would just have, the installers would just have type one or type three errors. Uh, so obviously the 68,000 emulation isn't perfect in this. It also doesn't emulate an FPU, so if you go to the control panels it actually has a, a customized version of software FPU. Um, and so yeah, I've uh, taken the liberty of installing Netscape on here. Uh, Netscape 2. Uh, and for example, uh, I can browse to my website. Uh, and it does not render very well at all, but uh, it sure does load. So we can see it try to load images if I scroll down. Beautiful. <laughs> um, and one interesting thing is, so um, obviously the system folder is on like the Solaris Unix file system. So if I try to mount this self-mounting image, it's not going to work. Uh, and it says copy to uh, Macintosh HFS volume. And basically what you can do is uh, if you go into the MAE general control panel, then you can actually basically generate what's called a temporary installer volume. And you can specify an arbitrary size. And if you click mount, then you get 
this temporary installer volume, which is basically just an HFS volume. And if I copy that into here, then it'll mount just fine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so you can do things like mounting self-mounting images since obviously normally you it's just on a Unix file system. Uh, and everything in here, this is just temporary if you reboot in it, MAE, like it'll be blank again. Um, and then, so you can add in this file launching control panel, um, you can basically add patterns for file names to be launched by a certain Unix command. Uh, you can, in MAE keyboard, this is how you change like the keyboard mapping. So like what what key on the Sun keyboard maps to the command key, for example. Um, and other than that, it's pretty standard. It's just pretty standard Mac OS. Uh, if you have uh, a Macintosh formatted floppy or uh, a CD in the host machine, then you can press this button to mount it. Uh, you can select from this like part of the screen there, uh, import data or export to X, so like copying data to and from uh, the X Windows environment into Solaris, or uh, into the application environment, I mean. Um, you can contain the pointer within here so it won't escape like it is now. And um, there's also a toolbar uh, if you hold down the rightmost mouse button and yeah. So if you right click basically anywhere, then you get this. Uh, I've actually tried to import or export to X and it actually basically crashes MAE, which I may, which I think may be just um, due to it, this being run under Solaris 9. MAE is actually uh, much older than Solaris 9. Uh, so there might be differences in X between uh, the version of X that was in the Solaris they were targeting in Solaris 9, which causes issues. Uh, also, various things like restarting it uh, cause seg faults. Uh, but generally, it does work decently well under Solaris 9 still, and sound and everything still works. Uh, it does not work at all under Solaris 10, which is why I'm running it in this zone. Uh, it just seg faults uh, after the initial uh, like license agreement window. Um, but overall, it's pretty cool. It's a it's a little bit obviously unreliable. I mean, I couldn't even get stuff at five installers to run. Uh, but Mac SSH actually runs. It crashes if you try to do SSH, but Telnet works. So we can actually Telnet into well, let's just Telnet into the host machine uh, that's running Solaris 10 that this zone is running on. Yeah, and then from there, let's turn it into the machine that's actually or the uh, zone that's running this. And uh, yeah, so uh, pretty cool stuff, really. It's kind of cool this was made. Uh, it also runs on HPUX, which is kind of interesting. I don't have anything that will natively run HPUX. Uh, but I'd love to find something someday. Um, but yeah, this is just an interesting little application uh, made by Apple for Solaris and HP UX. And uh, I thought I'd just record a quick video of uh, me, me demonstrating it a bit. So thanks for watching.